Good to see all of you. We're in the book of Proverbs, which is a book about what? About Proverbs, yeah. What, what's, what do we, what's the main theme of Proverbs? You remember? Starts with a W. Wisdom, thank you. Wisdom is the main theme of Proverbs. God wants you to have wisdom. Are you with me? Hey, hey, watch me. <laughs> wisdom, wisdom, wisdom. Come on down, friend. Uh, wisdom, wisdom, wisdom. What is wisdom? Give me some words that you can think of when you think of the word wisdom. Just any word that comes to your mind when you think of wisdom. What's a word? What? There's patient. Patient? Okay. Well, patience comes to my mind with wisdom. What else comes to your mind when you think of the word wisdom? Come on down, girls. What? Smart? Okay. Somebody's wise. You think of being being smart? What else comes to your mind when you think of the word wisdom? What? Gabe. Oh, Gabe? Well, maybe he's getting there. <laughs> All right. Wisdom, wisdom, wisdom. Uh, you know what always comes to my mind first? Decisions. Decisions. You, you're going through life making lots of decisions. Some of them just tiny little decisions. You know, you may think, uh, can I make it through class without going to the bathroom or do I need to go now? That's a decision you have to make. Wisdom says, make a good decision. You don't want to have to get in the middle of the class and go back. Well, you may want to, but it's not a good thing to do. You all, you all want to make it through class. So if you possibly can, you want to use the bathroom before you come to class. Uh, you, you're going to make a wisdom a decision about what to watch, maybe on, on your phone later on or on, the, on a tablet or on TV. And there's some things that are wise to watch. And there's some things that are just kind of, okay, I can watch that. And there's some things that are really foolish to watch. You with me? you got to make a lot of decisions. And you're getting older. You're going to be making decisions about your job. You're going to make decisions about your future, your education, who you're going to spend the rest of your life with. I mean, big decisions coming up. And God wants you to have wisdom. It's really, really important. And that's what this book is all about. He's giving you wisdom. And here's another little chink in that wisdom. This is Proverbs chapter 15, verse 3. This is God's word. The eyes of the Lord. Now, let me ask you something. Does the Lord have physical eyes? I'm talking about God Almighty, the Father. Does he have physical eyes? He does not. He's a spirit. God's a spirit. But he still sees, obviously, right? He's the one that created our eyes. He knows how to see. But he's a, he's a spirit being, so he's, he's God. So this is, this is kind of an anthropomorphism, making God something we can understand. He's talking about his eyes. You might argue, well, God didn't have physical eyes. No, but God's got spiritual eyes. And listen to what he says about them. The eyes of the Lord are... Guess where? In every place. The eyes of the Lord are in every place. Watching the evil and the good. The eyes of the Lord are in every place. Watching the evil and the good. David wrote about this one time and he said, Where can I go from your presence if I make my in, in the lowest hell, you're there. If I go to the highest mountain, you're there. We could say today, if I go up to Mars, you're going to be there. If I go to the moon, you're going to be there. If I go to the Himalayan mountains, you're going to be there. If I go to the deepest cave in the earth, you're going to be there. Is he here right now? Well, of course he is. Does he see what's going on right now? Yes, he does. Do you think he knows what's going on in your mind right now? Of course he does. In every place, that includes your brain, <laughs> your mind. He knows. He knows what you're thinking. He knows what you're doing. Come on down, guys. Good to see you. The eyes of the Lord are in every place, watching the evil and the good. Watching the evil. What's evil? What's evil? It's anything is bad, sinful, wicked. God says, do it. We don't do it. That's evil. God says, don't do it. We do it. That's evil. Disobeying God. Sin. Wickedness. God says, I'm, I'm see it. I see it. I see it. When you do evil, I see it. I'm there. Don't think you're hiding from me. God says, nothing's hidden from me. God says, I see it. You've got to remember that when you're tempted to do wrong. Lord, you're watching. Help me do the right thing here. He's there. He's here. And the good. If you do something good, nobody seems to notice. He knows. He's aware. He knows what you did. He'll bless you for that. He has ways of doing that. 
He's with us, guys, all the time, watching the evil and the good. Now, you say, what's that have to do with wisdom? Well, you'll make better decisions when you finally get it into your head. Whatever I'm doing, God's there. He's here right now. When you're by yourself on your phone or on your tablet or on your television set, watch your television set, he's there watching it with you. He sees it. When you're having a conversation with a friend one-on-one, you're whispering to each other, he hears every whisper. He knows. When you wake up in the middle of the night, he's there. You wake up, you're kind of groggy. Whoa, what's going on? Where am I? Are you there, Lord? Yeah, I'm here. You get up in the morning, he's there. Go to bed at night, he's there. Sit down for a meal, he's there. That's why I say thank you, Lord, for this food, food you provided today. You get my picture? If you get it in your head, he the eyes of the Lord are in every place, every place, watching the evil and the good. It'll change your life. It'll change your life. God will change your life. He wants you to have wisdom. And this is a great way to have it. Anything you need to say before I pray? Anybody? Ready to pray? Father, thank you for giving us another day. Thank you that we get to live this day for you. Thank you that you've given us enough health and life and strength to be here. We pray for those who are not able to be here today, that you'd heal them and give them strength and grace, whatever their issues are. But we thank you that we're here and you're here. And we thank you that your eyes are in every place, watching the good and the evil. Help us to internalize that truth really, really well. Help us to remember you're never going to leave us. And whatever we're doing, whatever we're saying, whatever we're thinking, you know it. And we want our thoughts and our actions and our deeds to make you happy, to bring you glory. And Lord, we, we know that if we can get that in our heads, we will make better decisions. We will be wiser people. So please help us to walk in your wisdom. Help us today to bring you glory throughout this day. Help us to be a blessing to each other, to our teachers, to, to family members, our parents, our siblings, whoever, strangers maybe you bring it around. Help us to represent you well today and get glory through us. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you guys. Stay in the battle. Have a blessed day.